Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers! It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight. I'm back today with another review. This time, a short, simple, and sweet one on the Blue Force Gear belt mounted dump pouch. Yep, that guy right there. The size of my palm. Look at that. So, Blue Force Gear belt mounted dump pouch. They also have a Molly mounted one, which just uses a little, little Molly. You get the idea. It's got a little Molly tabs built onto it. This guy, however, is the belt mounted one. So, First off, most notably, size. It saves up significant space from the previous, um, what was I using before? The uh, MDOM friggin' dump mesh pouch. That was really cool, but also somewhat bulky. And to kind of like slim down and cut down on the whole belt size, this guy is super simple, a little smaller than a baseball, actually. And if you pull back the belt thing, the belt mounted one uses these two things. These are connected in the center part that hangs out behind the dump pouch itself. So you're not going to necessarily lose them. And when you're using a two part belt like this guy here, the Velcro actually helps stabilize everything. So when you're wearing all your freaking, um, we you actually put stuff in there and actually use it. It, um, does a pretty good job. It's small. It's out of the way. And uh, yeah, it stays a bit more stable with that. Now, that said, it's got this little pull tab down here, depending on how you fold it back up. This is all elastic on the top, and the whole dump pouch pushes in to that elastic, and when you pull this little tab, bam, you instantly got yourself a dump pouch that is purported to hold up to 10 mags. And I believe it. Yeah, cinch cord up here. The cinch cord is smart because with one hand, you give that guy a pull, well, when the belt's on, anyway. <laughs> when the belt's on, you give this guy a pull. When the belt's on, you give this guy a pull. Give me a second, I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the belt here. I'm gonna pull here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that guy a pull, and you've secured your contents of the belt. And of course, you got one of those little. I don't remember what these are called. But you press down there, and you can free up the cordage and reopen your dump pouch to access whatever is in there, anything and everything. So um, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna throw this guy on real quick. And I'm going to throw, what's readily available? Um, yeah, that'll work. We're gonna take our little drill bit gun we got here. So, drill bit gun doesn't fit in our actual Glock holster. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that in the dump pouch over here, like so. And we're gonna give it a cinch and wobble, we'll flop around, do jig, get real funky, get jiggy with it, and uh, come back, and everything's still fine. You actually just pull the cord there. It's uh, not a very tight little clasp, but once again, a little bit of finagling. Wapa, we got it. So, easy peasy. Now, putting the dump pouch away, take the belt off once more. You can do it with the belt on, but. I'm lazy, I don't want to maneuver the camera all over the place, you know? So you take the dump pouch, that's here. I'm going to want to straighten this guy out a bit. Give him a little fold, a little fold there. And I like to start by putting away the top part first. I'm sure there's a official way to do this. I don't know what it is. So we're going to stack that up there. And then we're going to want to put the bottom part in. And what that does, if you do this right, It'll leave you with a flap down there. Come on. This is easier to do when you can see what you're doing. Then this last part has a little bit of stabilizing support. You want to push that in last. That's what's going to help secure everything up and in there. And also sort of like solidify it against all the elastic. Oh look, I actually did it right this time. You can tell because I have more pull tab to work with. And if I don't want to risk accidentally pulling it, you just fold that up twice, bam. But you're going to want at least a little pull tab, you know. You want it to be easy to find when you need it, in the off chance you need it. And there you go. Dump pouch secured and ready to go. So that's it. Small, easy peasy, simple. And um, you can generally find them for about 50 bucks. Sometimes cheaper, if you know the smart, uh, sharp. Smart. Shop smart. She sells seashells by the seashore. Little known fact. So that's all I got for you guys. Cheers. Stay tuned. Unless you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. It'll mount on pretty much any belt up to two inches, possibly more. So, um, yeah, cool little thing. And I'm excited to see pretty much what comes next, which uh, is also going to be Blue Force gear related. 
And it's not the Marco. We're going to talk about the Marco later. i got to get a good night for the Marco. Because, you know, if the lights don't glow, what's the point? But yeah, we'll be uh, looking at some other Blue Force gear in the near future. So cheers, stay chivalrous, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.